My name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky, and I specialize in medical hypnotherapy, guided visualization, nutrition, and exercise. My mantra being how to live a longer, happier, healthier life. My website is drdoctormedicalhypnosis.com. Today's health tip will be the dangers of a blood clot. Blood clots are not too infrequent. About a million uh, Americans have deep vein thrombosis or blood clot in the leg, approximately a million cases a year, and a hundred thousand of them die from complications of a blood clot. The blood clot, also known as deep vein thrombosis, usually develops in the calf. That in of itself is not too dangerous. But when a piece breaks off and lands into the lung, called the pulmonary embolus, that is life-threatening. Now, what are the signs of a deep vein thrombosis? Usually swelling of one or other calf, redness and pain, and may be tender to the touch. The pulmonary embolus, if it occurs, people show signs of being severely ill, they get short of breath, the pulse is fast, they have pain in the chest, and they can cough or vomit blood. This is a serious situation and you should call 911 immediately. How does a deep vein thrombosis form? What are the causes for a free, uh, deep vein thrombosis? One is if you sit in an airline for a prolonged period of time without uh, moving. If you drink too much alcohol on the flight and become dehydrated, those are predisposing factors. The next one is pregnancy. Because of the high percentage of estrogen that flows in a female during her pregnancy and her delivery, they tend to get blood clots more than people who are not pregnant. It is advisable that as soon as the baby is delivered, to start moving the legs and even walk around. This simple thing will prevent you getting a deep vein thrombosis. Next is um, females who are on birth control pills. They also tend to get a greater incidence of deep vein thrombosis because they too are on the birth control pill. And if they smoke, that compounds uh, the effect and they tend to get a deep vein thrombosis uh, sooner rather than those who don't smoke at all. Obesity, that is, tends to be another cause of a deep vein thrombosis. Uh, when you get a deep vein thrombosis, how is it treated? Firstly, if you get one, you should see the doctor immediately. Any pain or swelling in the calf Tenderness, go and see your doctor immediately. If it's a pulmonary embolus, pain in the chest, coughing, fast, pulse, dizzy, call 911. First of all, you put on compression hose. That compresses uh, the veins and it increases the flow. Secondly, there are blood thinners called warfarin, which is a tablet, or heparin, which is an injectable. And that is used to thin the blood. Then there are certain blood clot busters, intravenous drugs that can actually dissolve the, the blood. The whole thing with a deep vein thrombosis is prevention, prevention, prevention. Uh, well, you can prevent pregnancy, but you can uh, start walking and move your legs as soon as possible and take deep breathing. When you're on a flight that's going to be longer, then four to six hours you can wear compression hose on the flight. Do not drink and make sure you're adequately hydrated. Well, if you're obese, of course, you have to lose weight. So those are more or less the salient points that you have to know about a blood clot. And if you develop it, please note it should not be taken lightly. Immediate uh, medical care is indicated. My name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky and I thank you for listening to this health tip.